Hello, hello! Blartanian here, with Play Bittersweet for Me, the Kuja Intersecting Wills Shinryu fight. Doing the ticket mission here, so we're gonna bring Kuja, along with a couple other characters I haven't used in forever and wanted to bring for a spin. We got Ishtola and Agrius here. Before we get too deep into it, be sure to hit the like button on that video, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the fight, about Kuja, about, I don't know, Agrius, Ishtola, Krakens, you just, you know. Let me know what's on your mind. Uh, so, what we got going on here? Um, well, these Krakens basically do nothing, so I'm not really worried about them. That's why I figured I could bring a couple of characters who I like, but haven't gotten to really use much since their C90s. Uh, both of them actually, I think, I think, got the good stuff. It just, they haven't really had reason to, like, jump to the top of the, the usage charts, you know? Like, uh, as far as Ishtola goes, the delays aren't really that useful, and she's, you know, her auras are, like, fine, and... Whatnot. Basically, you don't need Super Brave Gain up anymore, so she's not as useful. But she's still decent. And Agrius is one of the best par paralyzed units in the game, but the only time that really comes up is if you're using Desh or Camelot, and those two kind of... Well, Camelot does it himself, and if you're using Desh, I think you uh, Agrius isn't going to be the thing that saves you. They work just fine here, though, because I basically just don't want these doofuses acting. We have no counterattacks, and I know every so often they throw out an AoE attack, and we just don't want to have to deal with that periodic AoE attack. It's not like it's something we're scared of, it's just like, why bother, you know? It's just one more button that your stroller's gonna have to press to heal us or something. <sighs> Man, I was hoping that would get us to just onto the force time, but it didn't. Maybe this will? You know, I probably should have just uh, AA'd there in hindsight, but I thought this would certainly do it. <laughs> 1%, thanks. Thanks. Oh, God. I, well, I can't AA now. I wish I had done it earlier, but now I'll just go ahead and refresh the EX. But before we go into the Force Time, the Kuja Force Time, Starlight Soiree with Laguna, I I know people say it's a bad FR, and it kind of is, but I do appreciate the Laguna partner, uh, if you've been paying attention to the story. I actually... I don't know if... I haven't been watching cutscenes lately, but I really enjoyed the cutscenes, like the story of this intersecting bills. It basically came down to... I mean, you'll see it for yourself, spoilers, but it's basically just, you know, Laguna and Kuja are my, fa my favorite, uh, my favorite couple right now, I think. Uh, very cute stuff. But, yeah, so he's still, uh, doing decent damage. Can't wait to use that, uh, that Afflatus Misery in a little bit. Afflatus? I don't know. Into the Kuja Burst phase, we're doing this, of course, because Kuja's FR gives him bonus when he acts. So we figure, you know, that just means you want that big, big Kuja Burst, right? Right? Right. Yeah, sure. Now, I'm trying to figure out the, re the best way to do this. Um, I should have started with the Ring Holy, but I didn't realize I was going to have to use it at all. I was trying to count... Uh, if you've done a Kuja Burst phase before, you know the idea is basically you want to get as many Ultimas as possible. And back in the day, you'd have to use his AA to refresh one of them, but now we have his FR button that we can press, so... Uh, we don't need to press his AA, so I was like, oh, mm, okay, I can rethink this. Pretty cool. It does mean using one Ring Holy, but that's okay. Look at how much damage he's doing with these Ultimas! Ah, oh, so much power! Got it, so good. Here we go. Another FR into the sky with the launch. That's, mm, that's gonna be awkward because that's a lot of single target damage and we do a lot of AoE on this team. I hope that 4% doesn't come back to haunt me. Because I mean, like, Agrius is our only real single target damage dealer and that's really a stretch if you're saying that. All right, so that's, uh, as you can see, I had hoped to do the whole, like, you know, summon damage thing, but A, the summon just wasn't charged and B, uh, I think the speed got wonky. I think Kuja's speed got wonky, probably. Uh, that happens from time to time. And so I thought that he was going to go before Agrius, but he didn't. It's okay. We will we will overcome this this terrible, terrible difficulty that we find ourselves in. All right, I guess we're just going to, like... Wait a second. <sighs> Looking... Why didn't I press his LD? Oh, I know. I was trying to jump their turns. But I should have just pressed the LD anyway, because his LD is incredible. I mean, incredible. It's seven AoE full, or full AoE dumps as opposed to four, which is a lot better. So yeah, I definitely should have pressed the LD there. That was a huge misplay. I'm not used to being able to freely press Kuja LDs. <laughs> um, I guess we'll probably be able to get through this fight anyway, though. Like, it'll be tough. It'll be difficult, because as you know, uh, this is just a really challenging fight and junk. Anyway, there we go. We uh, tank the Force Time with the Shola skill tube. Use the EX, because why not? Or do you see more? Partially to get the debuff on them again, to get that big, big full annihilation hit. There we go, a nice call damage. And, to re uh, and just to get some space, because again, we don't really care about them acting, so we might as we, we just want ourselves to act. It's all good. We jumping turns again, because god damn it, he still doesn't... There we go, finally, charging the force. God, he's in the, 
<sighs> anyway, um, a little second to go ahead and help us even up the damage just a little bit. Another big, big damage call there. Big damage call. You'll have to see it. The 5-5 five, five ultimate dagger on your call unit coming in clutch there. Here we go. Into the, into the FR once again. Canceling their FR. They're incredibly devastating. 10 turn can't be killed FR. These dumb Krakens. God, they're so dumb. Just look, look at them. They're so, so, just dumb, dumb Krakens. So dumb. Um, <laughs> fun, fa fun reminder, Agrius has debuff immunity just in the kit, because why not? I feel like there's like a fun team you could probably build with that. Somewhere, it's just weird, awkward, because like most of the other characters with personal debuff immunity are like Gladio or like evasion characters. Uh, and so she doesn't really work great with them she paralyzes but so it's like it's kind of it's a nice to have I guess but it's a little bit like what's the point of this because like if I'm bringing if I want team buff immunity I'm gonna bring like Lena or Aerith or something and like one unit bringing it themselves is like whatever I don't know it's fine it's cool I like Agri she's she's neat I'm glad I'm able to use her here um honestly Kuja doing okay in this incredibly tame fight oh we just barely missed it there we go. Spam that good, good aggro ability. There you go. Uh, that said, this fight was kind of a gimme, so I'm not surprised Kuju would do well in it. I'll try bringing him to some other fights uh, down the line. We'll see how that goes. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe I won't. You don't have the boss of me. You don't know. I'm unpredictable. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Adios.